another exciting episode of WrestleMania Greatest of All Time. The show where one superstar will win, be the greatest of all time, and will never, ever be the same again. And ladies and gentlemen, today we have an unusual match, if I do say so myself. Wrestler turned manager Paul Ellering goes against the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla, Chris Jericho, in a three stages of hell match. And ladies and gentlemen, the first person to get two, win two of the three match types will be the ultimate winner. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now you guys are probably wondering what the heck is a three stages of hell? Well, there are three match, three different match types, each more dangerous than the last. For this one, the first fall will be a normal, traditional WWE match. The second fall will be a dungeon match where they have to wrestle on a false count anywhere match inside the Hart Family Dungeon. And then three, third and final is a first blood match where the first superstar to bleed loses. Oh, before I forget, we also have some callouts. A callout to PA underscore Swartz for the creation of Paul Ellering. And a call out to XS, XX, MJR, Chaos XX for the creation of the Heart Family Dungeon. You, so, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to find out which one of these two is going to advance to the next round. And I can't wait for this match because I want to see how this match goes. And, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Paul Ellering. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 180 pounds, Precious Paul Everett. And ladies and gentlemen, Get Paul ready, guys. Big time singles no. matches coming up here. And I can assure you, these two superstars have been waiting what? all day to get their hands on each other. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I forgot to do it again. First, I forget to turn it back on. Now, I forget to turn it back off. Michael. Uh, hate when this happens. All right, just give me a minute, guys. I'll fix this. Options. Um, no, not jukebox. Ah, audio volume. Um, commentary. Turn that commentary off. Come on. All right. So I. Okay. So guys, I apologize for accidentally not. Turning off the commentary, but don't worry, we're gonna get this. We're gonna do this, guys. All right, so go to Paul Ellering. So fun fact about Paul Ellering, he actually used to be a wrestler before he was actually one of the greatest tag team managers of all time, at least in my opinion. All right, so let's see here. Um, yeah, entrance is on. So ten. Okay. Well, I don't wanna. Okay, WrestleMania evening since we are not doing 16. We're out of the 16 match mark. Alright, so, okay. We're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, so, heck of a match this is going to be, in my opinion. So. Oh, actually, guys, stay tuned after this stream if you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, Gravetastic4, because I got a very special um, announcement that is going to help us possibly get to that 100 subscriber mark. Because as some of you know, if we get 100 subscribers, merch will be a possibility. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so here we go. Now we can get started on... The match. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes one of the greatest managers the of all time. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Robbinsdale, Minnesota, weighing in at 180 pounds, Precious Paul Everett. So, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Everett has managed very successful tag teams in his career. Well, semi-successful, I should say. Well, one of his best known tag teams, possibly one of the greatest tag teams in WWE to date, was the Road Warriors or the Legion of Doom or LOD 2000 based on how you were, how you remember calling them. Led them to 
Tag Team Gold on numerous occasions. Paul Ellery also managed the Disciples of Apocalypse and the Authors of Pain. Did really turning on the Road Warriors to manage the Disciples of Apocalypse. But here comes Y2J. Has won almost every title in the WWE. A nine-time Intercontinental Champion. A runner-up in the 2012 Royal Rumble. A former United States Champion. A former WWE Tag Team Champion. World Tag Team Champion as well. Even the Unified Tag Team title. There's also a former WWE Champion in his own right. And a former World Heavyweight Champion. This superstar has done so much. I mean, without this superstar, ladies and gentlemen, the Money in the Bank ladder match would probably no lot would probably not be a thing. Jericho has done famer right here, ladies and gentlemen. But now, ladies, now Paul Ellering against Chris Jericho, two of e two superstars that know what to do. Ah, oh, no, 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 ah. Really? Oh, he's gotta be. Oh, well. No need to get mad. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Jericho and Apollo Ring tying up. Remember, this is only the first fall. This is a normal match to start off three stages of hell where you just win by traditional way, either by pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. But these two superstars aren't gonna let the other get the best of one another. And now Jericho got the tie up. Got Ellering in the back of the ropes, but the referee gonna separate him now because doesn't want any of these two to get the glove. And oh, and Paul Ellering taking advantage of the hesitation of Jericho for the forearm, but Jericho's not gonna take it and gets it with a shoulder block. But now Chris Jericho, oh, what a job breaker by Paul Ellering to counter. And now a clothesline. Don't be fooled, lace job. Paul Ellering, he definitely knows what he does. He's not only a very experienced manager but a very experienced wrestler in his own right ladies and gentlemen and Jericho with a suplex right there on precious Paul Ellering now Ellering's in trouble remember the winner of the first fall is definitely going to get a huge advantage because all they would have to do is win the second fall in order to win the entire match but Paul Ellering now with another job for getting another clothesline to the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla but now, ladies and gentlemen, Ellering now go for a close-up, but Jericho gets out of the way. Jericho gets in the corner, go for a close-up, but Ellering gets out of the way. Man, what a back and forth battle. It's in a back suplex by the precious one. But now, ladies and gentlemen, Ellering giving Chris Jericho run for his money and a knee drop to the back. Chris Jericho, Paul Ellering, both superstars that definitely deserve to be considered the greatest of all time, but which one of them is definitely going to earn it? Who's going to advance to the elimination round? But now, Chris Jericho kicks out immediately. Take it out, Chris Jericho. And now Ellering taunting Jericho, possibly asking him what else he's got. And oh, and a stop to the arm. That's going to, and that was just... A, a dangerous position to do so by Ellering, and Ellering with a DDT! Oh, Ellering now, go for a pin, I do believe, and yes he is, and the ref going to count it, one, two, and oh, and only a two count for precious Paul Ellering. Ellering getting a little frustrated here, but in this business, you shouldn't, you can't be frustrated if you get a superstar to kick out. And now, oh, possibly go for a Samoa driver, but Jericho counters. But Paul Ellery gets back on that horse. But go for a close but Jericho counters again. Jericho, I do believe, was trying to go for a code breaker, but Ellery gets out of the way. And Ellery with a bit of an angle, but wait a minute. It's Seth Rollins! What's Seth Rollins doing here? What is Seth Rollins doing here, ladies and gentlemen? He's not qualified for the tournament yet. But Jericho now go for he got him! The ref now I'm going to count it! Go for one! But Ellery kicks out immediately. I don't know why Seth Rollins distracted Ellering. But wait, Seth Rollins is in there. What's oh Seth Rollins? The ref now cut wait, what 
Seth Rollins. I don't know what that was all about, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Rollins, for some reason, I guess doesn't want Ellering to win this match. But now Ellering. Ellering in big trouble ever since that distraction by Rollins. And a bulldog by Jericho. Uh oh, what's Jericho going for here? Wait. Oh, Jericho! Shoulder block! And another shoulder block! No! Oh, get him over the top rope and lands on his feet! Ellering! I think Ellering just injured his back a little! And Jericho with axe handle! What a good com great combination by Jericho! And now what's Jericho going for here? Uh oh! Wait a minute! Wait, Jericho probably going for the watch Jericho, but no, and Ellering gets out of the way. But now Jericho's got Ellering. And a, oh, and a bit of a stun gun snake guys coming. What, what now? What, what's Sheamus doing out here? First Seth Rollins and now Sheamus? What is going on in this match right now, ladies and gentlemen? Seth Rollins comes out here now. And now Sheamus, this has been a weird match so far, but Jericho is Falcon Arrow go for a pin, but Ellering kicks out. Sheamus now getting a little visit in the ring, but gets out immediately. Remember, Sheamus was beaten by Scott Steiner, and Scott Steiner is in the elimination round ever since defeating Crush. But Jericho now, a punch to the gut by Paul Ellering to exit that, and oh, and a Cold Breaker! Cold Breaker! That came out of nowhere! Oh, could this be it? If Jericho pins him, it's just all over. Wait, no. Jericho, I think he just wants to punish Ellering some more. Oh, Jericho for a punch, but Ellering gets out of the way and a kick to a gut. Oh, and Ellering now with a loose says press and busting Jericho wide open. But out of ref, go for a pin. Could this be over? No, and Jericho kicks out. Man, what a match. This is been going back and forth since the beginning. The way shown, the question is... Who's gonna win? And who's gonna be losing this matchup here tonight? And Ella right now, proud of what he did. Sh boasting to the crowd right here, right now. And now Ella Ring. Oh, what's Ella Ring going for here? Go for a staff move, because I do believe... Oh, and Jericho counters with a Northern Light Suplex. Jericho, he has been in so many matches and in his career, he knows how to get out of a tight spot. But now Jericho with a submission hold to Ellering. If Ellering taps, it's the end of the first fall and Jericho gets the lead. And he taps! Jericho wins this! Jericho wins the first fall! What a, what a first fall. Hold on. Here is your winner. And ladies and gentlemen, that was the first fall, but the match isn't over yet. This is a three stages of hell match. So now we're moving on to the second fall. It's not a false count anywhere match, even though it said so. It's a dungeon match. Okay, we're going to turn off entrances. All right, so we're going to bring back the superstar, the two superstars, ladies and gentlemen. What a match to start off the three stages of hell. But now... There we go. Title match is off. Entrance is off. Your computer. Alright. So ladies and gentlemen, remember... The Hart Family Dungeon was placed where superstars like Brett the Hitman Hart, Jim the Envil Nightheart, British Bulldog, even the last one exiting the dungeon was also was Tyson Kidd. Belisha and trust me, what a match this is gonna be. And here we go, guys, in the Hart Family Dungeon right here. And now we're gonna start off here tonight. And now remember, this is a false count anywhere match where there are no countouts, no disqualifications, the only way to win. It's by pitting or submitting your opponent. But remember, false count anywhere, which means they can do it outside the arena. But now Jericho, he's got Ella Ring right here. And a Falcon Arrow by Jericho. And now Leisha, remember, 
These two, so far, Jericho is the first fall, the first victory. But remember, if Paul Ellering wins this fall, we are down to our final fall, the first blood match. But ladies and gentlemen, Jericho now got, he's got Ellering in a chin lock, but Ellering almost immediately getting out of it. And oh, and an exhale to the stomach, and another getting Jericho off him. But now Ellering, where's he gonna take Jericho this time? And Ellering, what's he going for? Oh, and Jericho now going with those elbows to the stomach before Ellering could even think about what he was going to do to Jericho. Going for a kick to the stomach himself, but Ellering gets out of it. And now a single leg bust and crash. Oh, no real break to this match. Jericho only has to break out. He can only break out to get out of the submission, and he does. And now Ellering rolling to the outside of the ring. There are no count outs, but it does give Ellering some space. But Ellering with a clothesline, barely getting Jericho. But Ellering now at the advantage. Well, I spoke too soon as Jericho with a kick to the gut. And now elbow to the face, a forearm to the face, and a punch by Ellering, and a chop by Ellering. But Jericho gets Ellering back to the inside. Now they're both inside, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Oh, and a cross to the face. Oh, that's going to hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Believe you me. But now a punch to the head by Ellering. Getting him. And oh, go for a clothesline, but Jericho counters. There's been a lot of countering that clothesline to the ring post. But now, what a stun gun snake, guys, is what I like to call it by Jericho. Oh, what's he, what's he, what's Jericho picking up here? And a kick right to the chest, going for the pinfall here. And only a one count. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen, what a three stages of hell match this has been thus far. Ellering now. What's Ellering going for here? Ellering going to the middle rope. Oh, he's got, oh, is he? And fist drop from the middle rope by Precious Paul Ellering. What a move. But now Ellering, another fist drop, but this time from the ground. But now Ellering got the advantage, but now Jericho trying to break that momentum with Ellering. Now go for a combination of strikes. And Jericho, oh, he's got Ellering. What, what's Jericho going for here? And oh, oh, what a move by Jericho. And now, wait a minute, he's going for some, uh-oh, walls of Jericho, can we see the walls of Jericho? Yes, we see it! Jericho's got Ellering in the walls of Jericho, is it it for precious Paul Ellering? Ellering hit, no, no rope breaks, Ellering has to break out. But no, Jericho just lets go. Wait, let's see. And now Jericho go for a pinfall here, but only a one count. Man, so far, this dungeon match has been back and forth just like the normal matchup and now Jericho he's got Ellering oh and a face first Jericho go for a kick but Ellering counts and a zigzag by Precious Paul Ellering and a kick to the gut and another and now go for the pin here and the referee gonna count it but Jericho with only a one count before he gets out Ellering now a kick to the head and a knee drop to the chest now Ellering go for another fist drop. And Ellering now doing the best he can to try to win this match. Now Ellering, DDT! What a move by Paul Ellering. Now what's Ellering going for here now? Wait, he's got him on his shoulders. Could it be? Yes, the Mowing Driver! What a move by Ellering, it's gotta be all over. Does Ellering win the second fall? One, two, and only a two count. And Ellering, he's gotta be frustrated. He knows he has to win the second fall or Jericho's the one that advances in this tournament. But now Ellering has kicked a stomp to the, to the knee, but Jericho has a kick to the face of Ellering. But now ladies and gentlemen, Jericho now got the advantage. Oh man. This is what I love about the WWE, all these dynamic matches, and oh, the Falcon Arrow! And one, two, and oh, and only a two count! Wow, for a minute though, I thought it was actually going to be over. But now Jericho going to the outside. Oh, the punch by Jericho. But Ellering now gets Jericho by the head, what's he going for here? And oh, Jericho now countering again! Man, these two have been going at it, this has been a war! And Jericho and Cobra are busting and busting Paul Ellering open. And this is it. This is all it. And Ellering, oh, and Ellering kicks out. 
This has been a great match, ladies and gentlemen. And now Ellering counters whatever Chris Jericho's gonna do. And now Jericho, another Falcon Arrow. Jericho with the advantage here. Oh, and a punch to the head. And a shot to the chest. But now Paul Ellering doing the best he can to get some momentum on his side. Elbow to the face and Jericho sucks it open again. And now Jericho getting Ellering off him. But Ellering staying right on him, getting him back in the ring. And now Ellering has stopped to the back. Wait, what's, wait, what's Ellering doing? Oh. Wait, this is legal, ladies and gentlemen. This is legal. It's false count anywhere. But no, and Jericho kicks out on only a count of one. But wait, Jericho now. Pedigree? No. Oh! Ouch! I think that was a double hook backbreaker. Jericho now. I think he's just waiting for Ellering to get up. He wants to inflict more punishment on this superstar right here. Now, and Ellering now, and a forward as soon as he gets set, great adrenaline, and now a rage off. Oh man, this has been a match. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been one of the great matches you guys get to see right here at WrestleMania, greatest of all time. But now, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Ellering going for a pin here. Is it all over? And no, Jericho kicks out. Ellering absolutely furious with the referee for not counting three. The referee, though, so just doing his job here. Uh oh, can we see another Samoan driver? If he hits this one, it's all over. Yes, he hits it. And Ellering goes. Ellering wins the second fall. He wins the dungeon match. So, ladies and gentlemen, that means only one thing. Here is your winner. That means only one thing, ladies and gentlemen. We are down to the final fall. But give me a minute. I forgot I had to create it first. All right, so. All right, guys, just give me a second. Let's make this Extreme Rules. Hmm. No? Okay, fine. Um, false can anywhere. Oh wait, no, 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 I got it, I got it. Sorry, guys. Paying our submission off. That's how you had to do it, sorry. All right, so, last man standing, no. Finish your match, no. First blood match. Um, no. It's obviously a first blood match. All right, guys, just give me a few. There we go. First blood match. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, obviously not there. Entrances are still off. Okay, good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final fall. It is a first blood match. The rules of a first blood match is very, very simple. All you have to do is make your opponent bleed. Even a drop of blood can win you the match, ladies and gentlemen. And Jericho, if, remember, both of these two has a victory against one another. The winner of the third fall wins the entire match and moves on to the elimination round. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are now down to the final moments. No pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts, no disqualification. The only way to beat your opponent is by making him bleed. And now Ellering with the advantage now. Remember, each one of the victory gets one another. All they have to do is make the other bleed, and they win. And Jericho, Northern Lights, who puts a counter some, a move of Ellering. But now Jericho just waiting there. But that cost him as Ellering goes for a backbreaker. And now a kick to the back. Ellering now just trying to get momentum. Ellering now. Both of these people with us just wants to be called the greatest of all time. Netbreaker by Jericho. But ladies and gentlemen, as you know, even if they w winning the first the, the qualifying round is only the easy part. 
the, the hard part is by beating the other superstars that also won the qualifiers and beating everyone in the final stage of the tournament, the victory tournament. But now Jericho picking up Paul Ellering. Got him in the corner. Oh, and this time a close line actually hit. But, and now a bulldog by Jericho. Jericho now the advantage. And now Ellering tripling up Jericho for a counter. And now El Ellering now stomped to the knee. And now Ellering got Jericho. The first one to bleed loses. But now Ellering got him now. Oh, and an elbow to the face. And that will help him. Going for those strikes to the head will give Ellering a higher chance of making Jericho bleed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, first blood match is very dangerous. But now, Jericho with a forearm to Ellering. And now Ellering getting himself to the apron. Don't know how smart of a move that is. Jericho now stopped again. Go for a punch, but Ellering counters. Now Ellering, another backbreaker. Ellering now boasting to the crowd, showing us why he definitely deserves to be the greatest of all time. But now Jericho go for a punch to the back and another. This time a punch to the head and another. And a chop. Go for an integrated but misses. Ellering taking advantage of Jericho getting out. Go for a punch to stun him. And now he's got him in his clutches. Oh! Oh, he's hitting his head to the turn though, but that has made a solid steal! But still, wait. What's going on? Oh my gosh! It's the Undertaker! Where did the Undertaker come from? Show slam by the dead man! That was terrifying. And the fans acknowledging Undertaker's en enters into this match. First we saw Seth Rollins, then Sheamus, and now The Undertaker. Now it looks like Jericho might want to take advantage of this. But Ellery gets out of the way. Ellery recovers, and now the backdrop. I agree with the fans. This has been an awesome match. Oh man, what a match this is. But well, ladies and gentlemen, only one way. And now Jericho face first in the eight for the by uh, by Jericho to Jericho now. Go for the head. That is the smart thing you have to do if you want to win this match. But Ellering has the same idea, but Jericho counters. Go for the clap, but Ellering got out of his reach. Now they're both back in the ring. And now Ellery will punch to the back. And now Jericho counters yet another clothesline. Now for a tie-up. Ellery gets Jericho off him. And now go for a clothesline. Now Ellery going to the outside. What? He's going for something. What's he going for here? Oh. I think he was trying to find a weapon. But I guess he didn't find anything to his liking. But Jericho now got him. And net breaker by J Jericho. But now Jericho now got the advantage. Bring Ellering back to the inside. Jericho now in himself. Now it's Jericho going for it. And Jericho. Oh, and a leg snap, a leg snap right there by Jericho. And Jericho now going for it. Uh-oh, he might be going for a code breaker. Code breaker by Jericho. And now Jericho now go for a push to the head. Jericho knows this is the perfect opportunity to, to wear down Ellering's head. To get him to bleed here. But now Ellering with an uppercut. Ellering's got him. DDT! Ellering go for a stop. Jericho gets out of the way. And now Jericho's got Ellering. Got his arms. And now another double hook backbreaker. Uh-oh. Jericho with a stop right there to the back of the head. Go for a shoulder block. Another shoulder block. And now it's going for go for another one. But oh, and Ellering now threw back out once again. Jericho to the top rope. And another axe handle. What a co another great combination by Jericho. And now Jericho, what's he going for here? Uh oh! And here's how we haven't seen a long lion stomp by Jericho! And Jericho now, boasting to the crowd, 
Jericho now has the huge advantage here. Oh, go for a punch to the head. A Jericho. DDT a Jericho did it! Jericho busted Paul Ellering open! Jericho wins the three stages of hell match! Man, what a match. Here is your winner, Chris Jericho. Jericho will never ever beat him in this match, in this tournament. The ladies and gentlemen, Jericho. Jericho has only one goal in mind, and that is being the greatest of all time. But next week, what happens when we follow the buzzards? Because we got a great hardcore match coming out, Lacey, and it's just gonna make you say only one word. Damn! Who are the two superstars in that? I just gave you guys the clues for it. Who do you guys think is in this hardcore match? Let me know in the comments, or wait till next week to find out. Let the so ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget, guys. Um, if if I have the same superstar in a match, it's mostly because of a gimmick change. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Dad, thank God so much for watching this. And I'll see you tomorrow for random gameplay. I don't know what game I'll be playing tomorrow, but I do know I'm going to have fun doing it. So late show with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, it's not fantastic, it's fantastic. Goodbye, everybody.